Anthony Elabakov here, and today I want to give you a bit of an update at My Mortgage Freedom. So last week we were fortunate to attend the Finshaw Conference and scoop three awards for the night. So we won Best National Office More Than Five Brokers, the Best Victorian Broker, and the Best National Broker of the Year. So it was a, an amazing performance by the team over the last 12 months. We've had system growth over the last uh, four or five years now, and it's a testament to everyone's hard work, really focusing and revolving around the client experience and the world-class customer service experience we want to provide everyone. So just want to thank all of our partnerships out there for supporting us. You all made a difference and a contribution to the year. So thank you. Um, and second, in regards to some lending updates, so we've seen a increase in alt doc loan inquiries. So alt doc loan commonly known as low doc loans are for self-employed clients that don't have their financials and tax returns up to date. So there might be various amount of reasons why they don't have them up to date, but an alt doc loan is a loan that is typically 1% higher than the normal traditional home loan. So if a home loan is you know, in the low 3% range, these may be in the low 4% range, but it's a great alternative that clients can proceed with purchasing or refinancing without all the necessary documents as what a bank would ask for. So these loans are typically verified income through an accountant's declaration, but in some instances and instances we don't feel comfortable with just relying on that, we do ask the clients to provide their BAS statements. So the BAS statements, the amount of BAS statements we require depends on the lender. It can be as little as one BAS statement, can be as much as four BAS statements. But the way they assess the income is through a formula. With some instances, it is a percentage of the total sales in the BAS statement. Sometimes it's a formula taking into account a few of the key components of the BAS statement to verify their income. So in the instance that say, for instance, uh, an IT contractor, they've, um, they've got their BAS statements in order to have very minimal uh, expenditure in, in the profit and loss. Um, we can use a higher proportion of the uh, total sales figure than say a tradesperson that has materials and other costs associated. So it's a real um, case by case scenario that we look at that and it is a option that self-employed clients are looking for in instances that have the tax returns up to date and it's one we can educate um, your clients on and also give you more information to consider when they're making an assessment in regards to the best course of action for their lending options. So hopefully that gives you a good insight and um, once again thank you for all your support over the year in uh, achieving those awards and uh, until next time.